Hello Pisces! Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Lili Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Alright, relationship first, single second. Let's see what happens. Oracle cards come out where need, needed, necessary, whatever. Why are we overlapping? We are overlapping. I'm noticing that. Right off the bat. So some, it feels very close here. Very, very close. That's it. I feel overlap. I feel overlap a lot here. Um, I also feel a lot of love here, so that's good. I mean, Pisces, we like love, don't we? Of course. <laughs> um... It's, this is good, but I'm getting, like, a, there's an overlap. I feel like there's, this feels really, like, close. Like, really, I feel like this is bordering on smothering. i got to be honest. But I'm feeling the energy from the other side coming towards you. I'm feeling their cards overlapping yours. Is that correct? Because that's how it feels. Because I feel them coming towards you. Your partner is coming forward with a lot of strength here. The Chariot with the Knight of Cups... Plus the Emperor where they're standing. Don't get caught up in the gender of any of these cards, please. But what I'm getting is your partner knows exactly what they're doing, exactly what they want. They see how it's going to affect you and them and the situation around. They've made, their they've made the decision is how it feels, that this is best for everybody. And the Emperor in their prime, in their best moment, not only looks out for themselves, but everybody else involved. Like They include themselves, but everyone else, too, is going to benefit from the situation. They look out for everybody. And what I'm getting from this is... The Knight of Cups is coming forward. The Chariot is the challenge. In the sense of like how, how hard they're going to push this. How fast they want this to go. They don't need to rush forward. It will move forward. The Chariot will not be denied. It will move forward. But it doesn't have to go through at a bullet pace. <laughs> it doesn't have to. And I feel like that could be the thing here because I feel them very much overlapping you a little bit. Um, and they could be extremely excited. They're not looking to take advantage of anybody, but their passion their, their passion could steamroll over you is what I'm getting. I don't see them trying to do that, just to be fair. But what I'm also getting here... Your challenge card is the Queen of Cups. Again, don't get caught up in the gender. But this is somebody who can hold their emotions back when necessary. This is somebody who kind of rides the wave when necessary. But this is also a very powerful person. There's no need to hold their... This When the Queen of Cups is here, and it is the challenge card for you, you can move forward. You can speak your mind. You can speak your voice and be heard and have an effect. Um, the Queen is a power player. The way I read cards, queen and king have equal power. So I don't really put one above the other, quite frankly. What I'm getting is you have the ability to stand up for yourself and say, Hey, 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 you're going too fast. Don't steamroll me with your passion. Calm down. Uh, give me a minute to breathe. You know, Yeah, I'm going to run with you, but you, I, can, I, can I tie my shoes? i got to tie my shoes or my sneakers or whatever. i got to get my footwear together. Like, let me, let me finish getting ready, then I will run with you. Just hold on. Instead of them running ahead and you're trying to tie your shoes and get, you know, trying to catch up to them. Tell them. Communicate with your partner. Hey, listen. I know you're passionate. Me too. But let's let's get it together. They're saying you're strong enough. You're more than strong enough to just don't hold back how you're feeling. If you think your partner is going too fast or you're, they're kind of steamrolling you with their passion. And I don't feel like they're trying to. They're, but if they're doing that, all you have to do is speak your mind, speak your voice. Tell them, yeah, I do want to go forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on this, but, you know, I, I need a moment to tie my shoes. Like, let me tie my shoes. Like, give me a minute. <laughs> because I do see you with the Three of Wands moving forward with them. I don't see you questioning moving forward. I don't see you having a problem with it, really. But, like, if they steamroll you, I'm getting, like, they're moving forward so fast that you're just, you're fighting to keep up. Speak your voice. Your challenge card here with the Queen of Cups, very powerful. Just speak your voice. Say, slow down. I just need a minute. I am with you. I will do this with you. All right. And where you're standing, I feel like if this reading is hitting with you already, you might already feel that energy starting to steamroll over you. And you might already feel that way. Like, I could I could use a minute to just 
get catch my breath and so I can position myself. Speak your mind to tell your partner how you're feeling. Reinforce with them. Yeah, I'm on board. We're going forward. But you need to like, instead of like running out the door tomorrow, can we do that in two to three days? Can you give me a couple days just to like get myself together? Like speak your voice, speak your mind. You, you know, just to, if you want to reinforce to them, yeah, I'm on board with you. But you know, I need a minute to catch my breath, please. Don't, don't let yourself feel this way. Don't mute your own voice. Don't do that. I'm getting your partner will be receptive because what would be better for your partner, ironically, would be to slow down. The temperance card on their side, this would help them too. You're their equal. You're their partner. You should be their equal. I don't know how your dynamic is matching up, but you know, it, all right, I'm gonna let it go. Uh, they're like, let it go, move on. You're there to tell them, hey, hey, yeah, we're doing this, but you know, Let's slow it down a bit so we can breathe, so we can get things together. That's You're helping the situation by getting them to slow down. It's not only good for you, it's good for them too. Because the wheel turns a little better. The wheel is going to turn. I feel like you're accepting it. Like the wheel is turning, things are moving forward, things are going to happen. I don't feel you bucking the system at all with that. But slowing down, going at a more rational pace, you pulling that forward, like listen, we could slow down a bit. Listen, it's going to happen, we are going to go. But can we go slower so we can make sure we got everything together and we're, we're prepared to do this correctly? You doing that helps them as much as it helps you. You're not questioning that wheel is turning. You know it. I feel like you're on board with that. It's happening. I know it's happening. Okay, let's do it. But slowing them down and like let's 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 get it together. Let's let's stay together on this. Let's be on point together with this. That helps. Because there's a there's a bit of work on your partner's side. Um, I feel like they're, they're putting, pushing forward if this reading is hitting with you and you're taking advantage of this moment and you're slowing them down and you're speaking your voice and reminding yourself your voice is just as powerful as theirs is, your vo voice is just as valid as theirs is, and they want to hear it, they need to hear it. I feel like this coming through correctly, they slow down and they put more work, more effort. It's kind of like refining what they're doing. Um... It's kind of like instead of, you know, sketching up a, a drawing in five minutes, they're taking the appropriate time to, like, do a really good detailed drawing so they can get the picture together. I don't know why I'm using that analogy, but I am. Um, it's almost like instead of throwing together a five-minute meal, you're sitting down and baking a lasagna and putting all the effort that goes into making a lasagna. Like, it's, it's a much better situation, like... In my opinion, sauce and noodles versus a lasagna. I'd rather have a lasagna. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> they're going to put in the work to do that. You're creating victory for you and them. I feel this coming together. Like this is the both of you. These cards are for both of you. The effort going forward is shared. The victory is shared. Slowing this down makes that better. This this is that this is this coming together and melding together. The two of you. Your voice needs to be heard. Your voice needs to be heard. Um, it's it's very good. Their challenge that this is not their challenge. This is like the optimal for them. This coming in and stabilizing. Uh, there seems to be a pace when I'm getting this uh, Ace of Pentacles here. It does kind of look like a clock to me for whatever reason. It's not a clock, but it looks like it to me in the camera. Things going on schedule. Things timing out correctly. Things hitting intervals and going forward at the proper times. I'm getting like a pattern being selected or established. A pattern being established. I'm also seeing you reinforcing this pattern. Um, this actually makes things better for you. I see you looking at the situation almost like, for example, if it was like a weekly pattern. Tuesdays this happens. Fridays this happens. This is how we keep up with the situation. We just stand. This is what I have to have done by Tuesday. This is what I have to have done by Friday. Bam, bam. Every week, every week, every week. And it, it could get a little bit monotonous, but I feel like part of you is kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like, it's getting kind of like stale donuts. But it's also kind of like, yeah, but it's also we're making progress and I, you know, I can do it this way. It's kind of like six to one and a half a dozen to the other. Like, you know, I have to do this every week. Oh my God, every week, every week. But every week you go past, like you're like, we've gone a little farther. We've gone a little farther. So you're enjoying the benefits of it at the same time. So you're liking it 
It's almost like you're liking it and loathing it at the same time. You're like, ah, oh, here we go again with this. But like, oh, but look how far we've come and we keep going. It's working. That seems to be making things better for you. Because I feel like as this keeps going on week after week, you know, it feels like a week after week situation. After a while, you're just kind of like, oh, I got to do this again. Here we go. Another week of this. Got to get this done by Tuesday. And you make sure you do. All right, Friday's coming. Got to get this done by Friday. You get that done by Friday. It's just one of those things where it's constantly on your plate. And you're just like, it's always there. But you're also at the same time, like I said, like, but we're benefiting and we're making it work. This works for both of you. Your partner is equal in that. They're also keeping up their side of the bargain, whatever that might be. Because this is what makes this easy. This is what gives you the safe home protection. That pattern coming in after the, the fact, you know, I feel like you slowing your partner down is creating this pattern. Once the pattern is solidified, and in, it's kind of like it's in stone to me. Like it's being, it's being locked in. Things get a lot easier. It's the like loathe feel for you is what I'm getting. And as you keep going forward, this was face down, by the way, in your reading, which is fate. This is the magical powers. Once you get the pattern selected and you're down with it, and it's in effect, you're going to have a lot more possibilities to do more things with this. Because it, it's, uh, I'm getting the warning of burnout here. Because I feel like what you're looking at at this point is like you have Tuesday and Friday, for example, that same analogy. But it's to the point where you're very used to it. They're saying, don't overdo it. Because you might be like, well, I've been doing pretty good with this amount for this amount of time. You know, it would be nice to go a little farther ahead. Maybe I'll add in a little extra. Maybe we'll do this by Tuesday, this by Wednesday, this by Friday. They're saying, don't, don't, don't set yourself up for burnout. If you want the magical powers here, which I feel like this is face down, I'm feeling what they're saying with this is add more joy into the situation. Add a, a, an element of flair or fun for, I don't know what the example would be other than like, this is the work aspect, got to have this done by Tuesday, got to have this done by Friday. If you want to add something in Wednesday, something fun between your, your, you and your partner where you're enjoying the benefits of what you've been doing. Something like that. Maybe a review. I don't know. They're saying, be careful. Don't burn yourself out. Because they feel like you're going to be succeeding. You're going you're gonna to have a lot of momentum. They're saying, don't, don't juice up the volume and then realize that it's becoming more monotonous and more laborsome to where you're not enjoying it as much as you were. Uh, just They're saying, be careful when this comes forward because you're going to have more possibilities. You're going to be able to alter or change the pattern. It's just great. But keep in mind, don't don't burn yourself out. Just be careful of that. All right, they're telling me the message is there, so I think we're good. All right, let's do Pisces single. Let's see what we have for single Pisces. What do we have for single Pisces? Messages for single Pisces. What do we have for single Pisces? Messages for single Pisces. What do we have for single Pisces? This, <laughs> granted, I'm a Pisces, but still, sometimes these reads come out and it's just like, it seems like it, it could have a good ending, but exactly what that means is a good question. Um, uh, I don't know if somebody new is coming in or not. I feel like you've been happy, though. Uh, I'm not saying you were with some mail. I feel like you've been happy in the past. All right. The first thing I'm noticing at the top, though, is the death card at the top, which there's definitely a change here. Um, <clears throat> ironically, I feel like some of you are recently getting out of a relationship and you're transitioning out of relationship mode. <clears throat> others, are, others of you are going into one. So if you've been single for a while, this should be like going into something, heading towards something. So the death card, I'm getting a weird feel with that. Let's see where it actually goes. We'll probably touch on that a little later again. When it comes to the past, you got the Ten of Cups with passion. Oh, I, I hate when this goes two ways at once, but it is. So 
for those leaving a relationship, it was a really good relationship that I feel like you're just about to end or you just have ended. I feel like there's some people watching this that are afraid they're going to be single soon. And this might be a confirmation that you will be single soon. So if you're with somebody or you're just getting over something or just getting out of a situation, it was a, it was a situation you really did enjoy. But they're saying this is your swan song for that. For others of you who are single and have been single for a while, you had a connection with somebody in the past. How far that went is, like, you know how far that went. I'm going to go there. You know how far that went. But this connection went with this person. You enjoyed their time, yet you did not expect anything else from it is what I'm getting. With the Ten of Cups and the Passion, I'm getting it was a very good moment. And there was a lot of passion there, but you didn't expect anything else from it. So when it happened, it was great, whatever it was, for however long, long it was. And when it ended, you let it end. You did not overly invest in it is what I'm getting. You might have even had a little bit of a cold shoulder to some pieces of it. In the sense of like you didn't let your heart get too involved. You may have felt moments where it could have, but you held back and you're like, nope, because I know this isn't going anywhere. I won't allow it. So you did. No matter how far physically you went, your emotions did not overly connect, even though you enjoyed time with this person. And I feel like as a Pisces, you know what that means. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now... This person, even though you, well, this is very typical of Pisces energy in my opinion. Even though you didn't let this person get overly close or you didn't let yourself emotionally invest there, it's not like you didn't want it to. It's not like the inkling wasn't there. So this person kind of rolls around in your head a little bit every now and then, but you're, you, you keep reminding yourself, that's not going to happen or it's not going to go anywhere. Or you seem, you, you seem to keep negating it out. The Four of Cups is telling me you like the thought, you'd like for there to be more, but you keep negating it out like, no, no, that's not going to come my way. I don't feel you giving too much thought to it currently. Uh, and your, your, your attitude towards it seems to be just letting it be in the past what it was. No use you know, trying to track something down that you can't have. You know what I mean? Not, no use trying to go for the Mercedes when you can't afford Scuda. Scuda? Yeah. No use, no use trying to save up for Mercedes when you can't even afford a scooter. I feel like that's the attitude I have right now with this. So it's kind of how you are. Like, just let it go. Let it be. The death card is here, though. This person seems to be still around you. And I'm getting the Five of Wands with the Moon card. I don't feel an argument with the Five of Wands. I feel you personally conflicted. This person keeps getting your attention. You don't see possibility there, but the moon card is pulling in kind of like this person is kind of their, their thoughts or their, you're thinking about them. You're feeling for them and you're just, you're starting to wonder. You're starting to dream about it. And I feel like you're not really liking this because I feel you catch yourself in a thought thinking about this person and you're thinking this is going nowhere. This is a bad idea. I'm going to get my emotions caught up in this person. And there's no hope here. To you, there's no hope is what I'm getting. Like, it was what it was in the past, but you're not seeing that go anywhere. You got the Five of Cups. With the best possible decision, you're like, no, I can't let myself do this. It's almost like you catch yourself fantasizing about this person, and you're like, what am I doing? What am I thinking? This can't go anywhere. I don't want to get my heart caught up in this. And this is exactly how I do it. I start thinking. I start fantasizing about somebody. Before I know it, I want to be with them. This isn't going to happen. I don't want to do that. All right, so... Where is this going is a good question. Because the next one you have, Page of Pentacles with the Psychic Protection. You're really trying to block this energy. You're trying with all your might to block this energy. You're trying to block it, block it, block it, block it. Your heart keeps kind of starting to... Your heart's getting stronger pulling you towards it, pulling you... Because you like that moment. And your heart keeps going back to it like, oh, I like that person. That person was enjoyable. I liked being around that person. Your mind's going, knock it off. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's like you're having a heart-mind ar argument. Like, you know what I mean? Like Your heart's like, oh, I like that person. I'd like to be around them again. Your, heart, your mind's like, no, it's not happening. Stop it. Just stop it. Um, take, it for, take it with a grain of salt. Um, you're, you're trying constantly to just block it out. You're really trying to block it out still, and you're keeping up that effort. This person I'm noticing isn't coming towards you, though, so they're not giving you anything to work with anyway to change your mind about that. 
you keep going in the future, still doing the same thing, trying to block it out, trying to block it out. I'm noticing this person not come towards you, but I'm also getting, they're not thinking it's going to make a difference. They don't think they have any power to win you over. For some reason, no matter what you're thinking or where you think they should be feeling or whatever, I'm getting this person doesn't think they have the ability to win you over. They feel like they have lack. Even if they come towards you again, they feel like it will just be another moment. They feel like you'd be nice to them, that you'd talk with them, but they don't think they could get more than what they've already had. Um, even though they could get your attention and hang out with you again, they just don't feel it would go anywhere. It's kind of like the fruitless wind. Like the wind would be getting your attention, but the fruitlessness would be not getting exactly where they want it to go. Yeah, I'm noticing they will come back. They seem to be hanging around you. They seem to be around you. They seem to be trying to talk with you every once in a while. I'm getting harmony evolving into justice. This person seems to realize... They seem to realize if they want anything to come to this, they're going to have to move forward towards you. I feel like what's coming next, or coming to the end of this, when justice comes forward with this person, they're getting along with you, and then justice comes forward. Like I feel like they're just putting their cards out on the table. Because they're feeling for you too. You've gone all this time just blocking, 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 not thinking anything can happen. They don't think that they're going to win you over either, quite frankly. They still seem to be hanging around you. Finally, they get the point and they're just kind of like, you know what, let me just put it all off the table. Because if there's a chance, that's the only way I'm going to know there's a chance. But if the Pisces obliterates me and says, you're, you're, you're crazy, I would never... At least that'll disconnect me from the situation. So it's almost like a put up or shut up moment. <laughs> it's kind of like just all or nothing. This is where your judgment shows up. Ironically, I feel you're the one holding this card. Because when this person puts it right on the table, exactly what they're feeling and thinking, that, that puts you in the power position to really get down to the nitty gritty what is truly possible here and what's truly not. When this person puts it all up in front of you, you see it all. Dirty laundry, good and bad, a whole thing. And you get to decide for yourself where you want this to go next. You're holding the judgment card. It's going to be based on what this person tells you and shows you in their life. Those are some... I feel like when they put it all out on the table, though, that's a lot. So I don't feel like all of you will be won over and be like, okay, let's get involved with this. I feel like a, a good amount of you are going to walk away because it's kind of like, ooh, that's a mess. Like, that's a mess that I can't be a part of. So you're the one making the decision. You're the one with the judgment. It's a rational judgment. I don't think it's bad because if somebody puts all their stuff out in front of you and it's too much and you say it's too much and you walk away, I feel like that's a good thing. If you know it's too much for you, it's better to walk away knowing, you, knowing that than to get involved and try to make something work that's just going to make it worse in the long run. I think that's okay personally, but I'm a Pisces, so me and my two cents. There you go. I think we're done. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope that helps. Thank you for uh, watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email jamesforastral at gmail.com That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com Thank you.